Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Deondo commentary. So, joined by Slate again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, we have. So, we've got Sylvans versus uh, a Dark Refer based deck with 45 cards in the main. Yeah, fuck car. He's a fucker. <laughs> and He's only rated 541, so. Yeah. With this guy's Pretty low rated. I, I just wanted to see some more Sylvan play, because I like. I, I don't like Sylvans, but I'm, I'm intrigued by them. And I know this guy's about to go off. He's about to summon, uh, I don't know his name. I don't, I don't know the go of Simmons. <laughs> oh, damn, he's just gonna run his ass over. Like, did he just summon Dark Greffer without even, uh... Pitching, yep. Pitching? Ooh. Yep. That block. Rose Archer. That card is... Uh, I don't like that card. I mean, it's okay for I him. I don't think it's that good. I don't, I, th I don't think it's really that good. It's not even a plan. Yeah. I mean, in not being a plant, that means you can play double rota and then search oh, them. Oh, oh my but... god, does that mean that he just put that on top of his deck so he can... <laughs> ah, so during his end phase, he can freaking excavate and then excavate that card. Uh, the yeah, last... That was, that was but... a really good play. Like one of the really... last... Unless you can get rid of Sylvania. Yeah, like, unless... If you get rid of Sylvania, it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah, because then he would draw into it. Yeah, that would be, that would be really good, but... uh, mm. it, With that 45 card main, it's going to be, you know, five cards harder to... Drawn to your MSTs. So. Yeah, and you're super down on resources. I hope he's using Graffer. God, another Caius? What, what is this? What is this? What is, why, why, why would you do that? Why would you? He had the. Right there. Tribute, Caius, banish, attack. Tribute, Caius, get, banish, attack. No! He wanted, to, he wanted to get malicious in his grave. There's, there's going to be some sort of play with malicious. Here. You better have Plague in your hand. I'm going to kill you. Um. He could have, like, Raiden in his hand. I know a lot of the, you know, oh. zombie engine sort of decks are playing uh, Raiden now. Okay, and then what? You as summon as Raiden, and then what? Sink into Leo? Okay, I guess. Is that what he's going to do? He has Raiden. Raiden's searchable, so that's another really good reason to play Raiden. Raiden's searchable with uh, three cards. Come on. Oh, okay, he yeah, did have the plague in his hand. So that was a good play, then. Yeah, it was a good play. I didn't know he had plague in his hand. They always right. have plague in their hand. We're gonna be seeing. Uh... He, did he top deck into that plague? Or did he top yeah, deck in? To... Uh, ooh, Crimson Blader. Crimson that, is Blader. A good play. that is a good play. Let's see if he can. What what can he use to to pop Sylvania? Is there any card that is a, a level eight that can pop Sylvania? Scrap. All right, but if he was. Yeah, I guess he can get rid Yeah, yeah, I guess Greffer's pretty expendable. So, yeah, he can just do that in the main phase, too. He can get the attack off with Greffer and then pop it. Oh, or not. He can't. He can't. Plague. He has no hand. He has no Sorry. hand. Yep. But at least Crimson Blader can hold it down right now. He didn't want to excavate during the end phase? He didn't. Yeah, that was a, he didn't, he, that was a miss. Whoa. Oh, okay. Never mind. That was a misplay on the on the uh, part of bar, uh, Kaiku. Sorry. The part of Kaiku, I believe. Yeah, I'm about to say, during the end phase, I would just excavate it to make sure I didn't draw it, but I guess he wants to draw it and then maybe put it back with... No, I, I, I think that was just a, a legit misplay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's putting back the tree. Damn, that's double charity in this. You act like you get that card all the damn time. That's already twice he's played charity. Oh. Charity's... Charity is a really powerful card uh, because not only can you use it to set up the top of your deck and get draw power, you can use it to, uh, or you can you can recur it with uh, Sage Koya. Four, five. So he'll be getting the effect of Hermitry. Yeah. Uh, what does Hermitry do? I have no clue. Is that a game? <laughs> That might actually be game. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, so what Hermitry does is it lets you rearrange the top, top three cards of your deck. I think that might be game. Because next turn he's going to draw into a card. He can go Maui, yeah, yep, Plague, yeah. Summon, we Game. We understand. Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't understand shit. No, I, I got it. I totally understood what you meant when you said that's game. <laughs> All right. You know what? Fuck you. I don't understand. <laughs> you want me to fucking be a sportscaster, but then you tell me to shut up. I, I don't get you. Oh, 
I'm the sportscaster. You're a spellcaster. Ew, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we see a scoop from uh, Kaiku of Prophecy. Yeah, he's like, nope, you got it. Yeah, um, that's why I always thought that I thought I always think Sylvan should main at least one Swift Scarecrow, like probably two. I really do because I just feel like they leave their field open way too much. If they if they don't have a lockdown Felgrand Draco sack play, I feel like their field is just open. Like, especially if they get a like if they have to normal summon, if they have to normal summon and it's not Lone Fire Blossom, their play is bad. Yeah. Like they want to be using their normal summon up with like Miracle Fertilizer. So, if they have to normal summon like a a, a, a Marshall Leaf or like a, a Flower Knight, then their play is bad. I think uh, Swift Scarecrow is a good defensive card for them. What dragon rulers would you play in uh, in Sylvans? You play dragon rulers in Sylvans? A lot of people play fires because there's the lone fires, the hermitries, and the Mar martial leaps. I mean, not the martial leaps, the Komashrumos. Oh, okay. So I guess you play blaster. So a lot of people play blaster because he has uh, probably what seven targets: two Komashrumo, two lone fire, triple hermitry. So. They only play two of the mushrooms, guys? Um, it depends what build that you're going off of, but uh, in my opinion, the best build is the, uh, like, the one that just pretty much revolves around summoning back from the graveyard and, like, with going as fast derp, as you can. With Burp Charge? Yeah, yeah, yes, that, that build. Uh, so if you're going to, <laughs> so if you're going to, um, take it slow, like, and just rely on your, your excavations, then, you know, you only, you only want to, you might want to play three, but if you're trying to go as fast as you can, you just want to play one, one or two. Oops. Mm -hmm. We see a weight chain on effect from the hand. Oh, it's gonna be Maxi, I guess. Yep, yep Maxi. A guess... really good, really, really good side guard, side guard against Sylvan stuff. So. Yeah. Sylvans are one of the spamier, spamier decks, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So will we see an excavation of? Uh, Oh no, free band. I was gonna say, will we see a a, a sack for Princess Sprout? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he just passes there. Mm, That's what mm -hmm. I'm talking about. Like, you need to play Swift in this deck. You just you, you need to play Swift. Yeah, you have no back row. You have I mean, shit. That was kind no of protection rough. at all. I mean, that was anticlimactic. I guess I guess he was under Max C, so maybe he just didn't want to, you know go off like maybe he has a, a miracle fertilizer in his hand you know he didn't he, oh he did normal summon never mind yeah, so no one's gonna fire. my fault okay so there was a guy that cheated at some regionals with uh, miracle fertilizer that wasn't regionals that was what well, that was world no that was a that was a national national it was nats yeah you're right yeah and the guy even admitted to it and then now he was like oh i didn't know like yeah you did you admitted to it in the deck profile yeah cap g cap g <laughs> called him out in his own video yeah at least the other guy didn't cheat yeah, the yeah the kid that he definitely didn't, and that's like that must have been terrible for him to see all these people. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I wonder if he got like messages or stuff. Oh yeah, totally. Like, I know one of the admins here on DN was uh, friends with him, <laughs> and they messaged the shit out of him, and then admins kept on blocking, I mean, banning people on here. It's just ridiculous. But yeah, I guess that's, we just yeah. really wanted him to cheat, but he he wasn't cheating. You know, when you like slow it down to like. 30 frames per second and zoom in extra close so when with sil silent I mean to silence the, the Sigma did or Andrew that you could clearly see it I don't know what the hell he's going by anymore he is like the nigga of Yu-Gi-Oh I swear <laughs> uh DPYGO I guess yeah I guess <laughs> he's been doing a lot more videos lately who him DP, DP, yeah. Like, he does, like, what, two a day now? Like, I couldn't he's even pretty think. Pretty much. Oh, we see a Spore. That's going to be good. Yeah. Spore is good for going into Felgrand. Yep. Like, I couldn't even. Spore's also good for going into level 8 synchros with uh, Saga Coin. Yeah. God, and he is just going off. Watch him play with himself. He's, like, looking through okay, my eyes. Okay, so we're going to see the Hermit. Oh, the Sage the Coin. Yeah, okay, Saga see, and then there she is. All right, so are we going to see a Felgrand or a Draco sack? Draco sack. Yep. There's no reason to go into their uh, monster, is it? Their uh, own monster. The rank, the rank seven guy removes um, stuff on the field, so I don't Definitely. see why they would. 
Yeah, so he's gonna go to the Draco Smack. It spins stuff, I think, or I don't know. I think it does. I think it's no. Does it spin stuff? I I think. Oh, we see a drag. Jeez. Oh, he's he's summoning drag on the first attack. Ooh, okay. Well, he's got three thousand attack right now, so. Yep. Nothing. To take over him. I I I'd never summon a drag in attack mode though. No. There's no point. Nope. There's no point. I I highly doubt that you subscribe to Asian Eyes, right? But no, uh, of course I'm not subscribed to Asian Eyes. Asian Eyes, I, I like his videos. I'm He's entertaining. He did a video, right? He um. <laughs> he was playing against uh, he's playing against Cleepert with uh, Shadows, and he's main decking double Trag in his Shadows, and uh, the Cleeper the Cleeper killer attacked, right? So he summoned Trag, and then the next turn he discarded Trag to take control of the killer. <laughs> he discarded a second copy of Trag to take control of the killer. It was great. Yeah, that is pretty great because it's level ten. That that's beautiful. That actually yeah, happened. I fool. <laughs> Yeah, right? Oh my god, Armageddon Knight. Yo, price. Oh. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? Six seventeen dollars Oh my god! <laughs> Armageddon Knight, damn! <laughs> oh my god. For damn. what? For what rarity? Uh, shit. Let me see. Okay, I'm not... Check. Holy shit, like damn shadows. <laughs> okay, the the supers are the supers in mint are fourteen dollars. And the rares in mint are twelve dollars. Oh my gosh! Oh my shit! Thank God that's I have my unlimited. Armageddon. That's unlimited. That's not even the first steads. That's the unlimited ones. I am so happy I got my Armageddon Knights. Sell them. <laughs> no, I need them for my Ebel deck. What the fuck? <laughs> nah, I'd I'd sell them off. I'd buy some more later after the battles are done. How how often do you play Ebel? I haven't played in such a long time, but no. Yeah. So. No, I don't you need them. I don't need them. I have supers. Uh, and I don't need the money. <laughs> no. And fuck well, that. Why rares more? And at the rate this is fucking going, fucking dolls are gonna get my. Sh but they better not. They better not hit Armageddon. And with fucking a one card, uh, black road that mathematician can do, you better not hit Armageddon Knight. Well, I mean, Armageddon Knight is essentially a stellar knight. So. What? He's a stellar knight. What are you talking about? His effect is only when he's summoned, so he's he's pretty much a stellar knight. Uh, what do I call it? call it? Ukulele. Yes. Yes. And what's your point? I don't know. What? I don't know. Armageddon Knight can send one more target than Mathematician, but Mathematician is a one card fucking black rose. I think Mathematician well, should get no, hit. Mathematician is the Mathematician is, is is definitely the worst one because yeah, what but you can I do is but I know freaking uh uh OCG hit Armageddon Knight. Yeah, I know. Um, you better I guess not. He, he has interactions with other decks, too. Uh, but the thing about... Uh, That's fine. He's had interactions is... with other decks for how long? And he's been fine. But all of a sudden, Shadal's fucking... Yeah. Now everybody wants to fucking kill my Armageddon Knight. I'll kill you. Getting, all right, he would be getting banned because... Or not banned. He would be getting uh, hit because of Shadal's. Uh, but the reason he would be getting hit over uh, Mathematician is because he has more interactions with other decks than Mathematician does. Um, the thing about Mathematician is that there's one of the uh, shadows when it's sent to the graveyard by a card effect you can send another shadow uh, to the graveyard by a card effect uh, so the problem with uh, playing Armageddon Knight is that yes you can send Beast but if you play Mathematician instead you can send I forget what it's called you can send Lizard, like the middleman one Squamata. and then back and send Beast exactly uh, so so it, what's the point so don't hit my Armageddon the, the thing is don't hit my Armageddon Knight if Armageddon Knight gets I wouldn't even play I wouldn't even play it I wouldn't, I would I, I wouldn't play, play it either but if Armageddon Knight gets hit because of Stalls, Vitamin Y is over. I swear to God. We should probably explain the, the one card Black Rose thing that we're talking about. Okay. What? Mathematician send Felice? Mathematician, yeah. You normal summon Mathematician, then you send Felice uh, or Felis, and then uh, she'll special summon herself, and then you can uh, sink into Black Rose. Yep. But, uh, I I'm recording. Another benefit of another benefit of running mathematician is that you get that draw when you, if he if you does have, if he does happen to get destroyed, you can you know get a draw. Exactly. So mathematician completely outclasses uh, Armageddon Knight in that deck. Therefore, Armageddon Knight should not get hit. Another thing, what? um, mathematician is a spellcaster, right? Yeah. So you can use him to go into Arcanite Magician. Yep. So, I'd have to say that mathematician is the uh, the superior card here. 
Okay, so... How much is Mathematician going for? He's probably expensive too. Let me check that. Yeah, I think he's like $15 as well. You better See. fucking not. Here, you commentate. I'm gonna look at this price. He summoned the Jinzo, and his opponent said K, but his opponent has a freaking Draco sack and a freaking uh, foe brand, so yeah, good luck. He discards Malicious to Special Summon Dark Reffer. Oh, so we're going to be seeing a rank 6. Alright, mathematicians rank... are... <laughs> mathematicians are, are less. Mathematicians are 850 right now for first edition near mid. No, oh, okay. That's That's crazy. Wrong one, lol. Yep. Yup. He banished malicious to summon the plague. <laughs> oh, totally. That's 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 totally legal. Did you know that? Yeah, that's legal. <laughs> All right. So we'll be seeing what um. Photon strike bouncer. I don't know. What what are we seeing? All right. So we negate the effects of Jinzo. That means we'll probably chain a trap. Wait, but why would he do that? Because then the, the, the trap is going to resolve first. I guess he's not doing the trap the right now. No, he is. Look. Oh, it's continuous, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. it's continuous. All right, so that will completely wreck... Uh, <laughs> that will completely wreck uh, the other guy's deck. Yeah. How, how many different types do you have right now? Machine. Warrior, warrior, machine, zombie. What's the token? Uh, I don't know. I think it's Fiend. What was it summoned by? That fucking quick play spell card that summons the two tokens. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, Fiend, no, wait. Not Fiend Sanctuary. Mm -mm. Uh, I forget what it's called. Me too. Alright. He's gonna pick a type here. If I were him, I would pick Warriors. He, he, okay. Yeah. I, I guess, he, he, at hmm. this point, he's just fucked. Like, yeah, like scoop it up, GG. Like, damn, like he's that's fucked. A, that's a really good floodgate card. Yeah, that, that's a. Is that's there a... anything that he can keep on the field? No, because if he keeps zombies in the field, then he doesn't have anything to sync to sync with. So yeah, it's it's pretty much game. Yep, that's game. All right, so he's getting rid of the plague. He's getting rid of the greffer. Uh, so that means machine. he called machines. machines. Okay. Was Jin Jinzo was summoned last turn or this turn? This turn, so. Oh, so we can't even move him into defense. All right, so that means that he'll be taking 400 and losing his Jinzo, and at that point he will be top decking. And but Rivalry fortunately, is still on the field. <laughs> yeah, I was about, uh, but uh, uh, fortunately he's playing a graveyard-based deck. So if he does happen to top deck into something like MST, let's see what he can do. You just passed it. Oh yeah, the the Sylvania. Okay. Yep. So two eight direct here. All right, this this is this has to be game. This has. There's no way that he doesn't have a monster to summon. This has to be game. Foolish burial. Let's see if we see a Felice. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no. Felice doesn't get summoned. No. Foolish burial. No. Has to be summoned by a monster effect. Oh, we see a blaster. See, I told yep. you they played Dragon Flurs. Yep, it has to be, uh... Oh, and that's just game. up. Yeah, we're going. One to one! Uh... No, Felice has to be sent by a monster effect. Yeah. Uh, the only Q play you can do is shut off Fusion. Just has to be sent by... Yeah. So you can shut off Perfect. Fusion and, and summon Wolf. Um... Is that gonna turn into a fucking engine? That better not. Well, hey, sh yeah, that better not turn into the damn engine of just chill, chill, put... chill, 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 chill. <laughs> oh, you gonna, you gonna oh, talk you know about... what? You know what? I heard this this card that's really good against uh, Cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> See, so uh, chill. I, I, I know you want to talk about some kind of engine for Shadows, but I don't know what Stop. engine you're talking about, so I can't Stop. reveal anything. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna make a video, and it's gonna blow everybody's mind. Um, okay. So we see a set two pass from the zombie player. That's what I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna I'm gonna say he's playing zombies, even though it's clearly not zombies. I know. I, I'm trying to figure out what the hell I should call the title of this video. 
I pro knowing Dark me, dot net? Kn knowing me, I'll probably just call it Plaguelicious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, he's- Ooh, he's gonna get to add Dark Cool to his hand. Is that what he's gonna and add? And he milled the Lone Fire. That's great. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, have you seen the- Ooh. Oh, he's- Hermit Tree. The Hermit Tree lets you stack three. Talked about earlier. Yeah. Um. Have you ever seen the ultra rare Dark Hole? The new one. One new one. And what? The 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 one that came in the in the power up packs in the structure deck. The the the. Uh, it's the ultra rare Dark Hole in there. Or the starter deck. I'm sorry. Yeah, the 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 new starter deck comes with like packs, and one of the cards that you're you're guaranteed you're guaranteed. Oh my god. Okay. You're guaranteed. To get uh, an ultra rare odd eyes dragon, like not the pendulum one, just the regular one, and an ultra rare dark hole. And the ultra rare dark hole looks amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> that miracle fertilizer. Yeah. yeah, let's see if he tries the normal summon anyway. <laughs> wow. Alright, so no monster to pop. 2 7 direct. We see a Phoenix Swimming Blast discarding malicious. That's a really good play for a a, a play delicious deck. Yeah, <laughs> because there are plenty of cards that you want to have in the graveyard. Of course, he draws the malicious. <laughs> I wonder if he's playing Destiny Draw. I, I I probably wouldn't, especially if he only has three. It seems like he only has the three cards. So, mm -hmm. I'd say if he's playing Destiny Draw, then he should play um, he should play a uh, Shadow Mist. Yeah, Shadow Mist is is uh. So if you get on to Destiny Hero, the, the rebirth of the what's what's the, the the Destiny Hero engine is that what it's called? Yeah. Shadow Mist, when it comes out, will be the rebirth of the Destiny Hero engine, which ran the game for a really long time, didn't it? Yeah, it was one of the key things that made uh, Teledad good. When Destiny Draw, so, and Malicious, and all are all at three, along with Dad at three. There are decks in the OCG that are, that are playing like that they're, because they have double dads. So they're playing with you know two dads. They're playing with Shadow Mist. Hell uh, no! Hell no! Never ever. But they're ever, doing it. Ever, ever. Dads stay at one. Hell no! <laughs> Fucking dads too strong. Okay, yeah. He he didn't see the vanities until just he, now. Yeah, so. he didn't see it. Yeah, he didn't yeah, see he it. Yeah, he was in his deck. So <laughs> he was looking at so his deck. Put the malicious that. back and he'll cry. <laughs> yeah, he was too busy looking at his deck, so he didn't see it. Deck. <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> vanities is vanities is too good though. Vanities is too good. I think that Damn Vanities like... What? Fucking vanities. Look how look, look at that look at that price. It's a common. It's a, com it's a common, yeah. Holy 18 shit. Eighteen bucks. I already knew it was expensive. Um Vanity's emptiness was I, I think it was supposed to be a replacement for uh what Imp royal, uh, royal oppression. Uh, oppression, royal oppression, uh, sort of like they're doing with um, like pot of dichotomy was a replacement for pot of avarice, uh, avarice, and like you know what I mean, like shadow mist is a replacement for stratos. Like they're they're taking banned cards and like remaking them, right? They always do that. So what? They always do that. <laughs> yeah, I know it's it's a really good it's a really good thing to do. I think. Uh, so I think the vanity is emptiness is is better but i still think it's pretty good like you know what i mean mm -hmm. i Do you think, think that, vanity's I think emptiness that, needs to be it i think vanity's emptiness is stupid in the hands of clip um i think there are decks that can utilize it better than that but... like how do you utilize it better than just it never going away like <laughs> how do they protect it Oh, because they go into the extra deck. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> like, that's so stupid. <laughs> Just like, tribute my monster, summon a stronger monster, vanities doesn't go away. Now I got like a 27 beater on the field, and you can't special summon? Like, god damn. <laughs> I wouldn't say Klee Put is as strong as everybody is saying it is. It's strong, but I wouldn't say it's like... It's, 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 just, it's just that when Killer came out, like... Killer is just so broken, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like Killer is so powerful. Like, you summon that fucker and you pretty much win. But yeah. in that, like, that's what we're, okay. So you know how we had the, 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 the video yesterday, right? And there was, like, the Nordic guy? Mm-hmm. 
and I looked at uh, Thor and I said, oh, this card is extremely powerful, right? Yep. Um, but, you know, he's hard to get it out. And that's that's uh, uh, not as hard. But, you know, Killer is going to be not the main focus of the, of the competitive Killer, of the competitive Cleaver, Cleaver decks, I think. No, so, it won't be focused. It'll be the Pendulum Summon and the uh, Oti Kang and stuff like that. Yeah, but I mean, I, I definitely think they'll still run. I, I, yeah, I'd, I'd run one. I would run one. I know Asian, I was like, you gotta run three. Like, uh-uh, no, one. Because <laughs> if you run... You should make a deck... What? Is that... Yeah, you should make a deck profile. Oh, yeah, totally should. Yeah, no, maybe... One. Maybe you could guest upload it to... <laughs> I don't know, I don't no. know. <laughs> Spoilers? Spoilers or no? Can I say it? They already know. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. When, you, when is it gonna go up on his channel? Oh, shit, on Mega Capital G's channel. I haven't even talked about it. But I'm gonna keep on forgetting. I'll be sure to message right, you. On, should, yeah, you should just message YouTube. YouTube. But I've messaged I, him the thing is, I don't, don't, don't want to get it up. I don't want to put it up on YouTube or get it to him yet until I make the trailer for my channel. So when everybody comes over, I'll have a trailer video because I don't have a trailer video for my channel. I don't have one either. I just yeah. put my hundred sub video, the hundred sub special that I haven't gotten to making. <laughs> uh, so. We've got Farkar just sitting or setting one monster, and we have Miracle Fertilizer for Hermitry. Hermitry effect mills a fertilizer, or excavates a fertilizer. We need to come up with a a, a, a phrase for excavate that's not excavate. What do you? Why? What's wrong with excavate? Still well, because mill isn't the proper term. The proper term is send from the deck to the graveyard. So excavate needs a better term, like like a, a one syllable term. <laughs> Plops. All right. What'd you say? <laughs> plops. Plops. Yeah, plops to the graveyard. <laughs> okay. Nah. <laughs> Damn, look at all them cards in his hand. That would be, look, count the green gadgets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten green gadgets in his hand. Holy shit. <laughs> so he's putting two back, so he'll still have, what, eight cards in his hand? He's putting the dragon ruler back? I don't... Why wouldn't he? Yeah, he has to put it down there so he can yeah. see the shuffle deck card in. Uh, ooh, so I, I assume you put the dragon ruler on. Oh no, Princess Sprout on first. Okay. Okay. And then he sets one. Sets one. Still has seven cards. Yeah, he still has seven cards. Yep, he sends that spore. Sends spore in the end phase. All right, Fokker. What are, you, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna get wrecked? Are you gonna squap it up? All right. So what four card combos can this guy make? We've we've seen what cards from his deck. We've seen Jinzo, Caius, Armageddon Knight, Dark Grepper, Plague, and, and Malicious, and that uh that token summoning card. Yeah. That's pretty much it, really. That deck seems pretty linear. It seems linear, just like Plague Rush is too valid. Just look at the Plague advantage, Rush. dude. Like, look at the advantage. He's got six cards in his hand, four or three back row, one face up spell, and then two monsters. Like, uh huh. I yeah. don't see how we can get past the, the back row. Nope. I mean, imagine if. I mean, I guess that only stops traps. But like, imagine if this guy like sets a mirror force and he's getting so happy. Oh, yeah, the game. Yeah, and then nice. he just activates a uh, rogue archer. But whatever. Yep. Alright, oh, that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I... the first the it was a, it was a pretty much a lockdown match. The first duel, uh, Kaiku couldn't do anything because he didn't have Flip Scarecrow in his deck, and the other guy had uh, the big Synchro Monster, the uh, Crimson Blader. Mm -hmm. You know that locked down Kaiku's deck, and then Kaiku locks out the other guy's deck with Vanity's Emptiness and uh, Felgrand. Yeah. So uh, that was it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Slate, for joining me. Yeah. So, I like these. So be sure to go ahead and subscribe to his channel. The link will be in the description, of course, like usual. So usually I would say that I will see you next weekend, but I will not be seeing you guys next weekend because I actually am going to take a break from YouTube for a week. I'm taking a week off because I'm going back to college. I want to get myself situated. So not even slight now. He's like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting here like, what are you? Yeah, I'm taking a, I'm taking a week off for school. Cause I'm going back to college, so I'll get myself situated. But but don't worry, don't worry. When I come back on that Monday, Monday the whatever, I, damn it, what what is that? Monday the Monday the first, actually. 
Yeah, when I come back Monday the 1st, I'm actually starting a new series. I actually finally got the series that will be replacing Magicite, so uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but look forward to it. It's You guys are going to like it, so yeah, that's my coming back, Jeff. And then, of course, I'll have a t hopefully a ton of things to talk about, because I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll save it for a week, and I can talk about how I flirt with the girls and how they reject me. Good old back at college fashion, right? <laughs> <laughs> So I hope that you guys enjoyed, uh, you know, um, watch all my old content, like I said. I just want to make sure that I'm nice and situated and make sure that the workload's, workload's not too much. You know, I'm going to be in calculus too and I'm going to be student teaching, so I'm going to be a lot busier. So, uh, it goes You're going to be in calc too? Yeah, I'm being calc too. Nice. So it's not only for this, not only for my channel, but it's also for uh, Dragon Ball Z League. So if you want to do, are you still going to do those? Like, no, I'm taking a week from both of them. Just, I'm just gonna step away from the computer and get some work done. So I uh, apologize for the inconvenience. I know you, I will be missed. So uh, I'll see you guys on with this series back again on the sixth and seventh. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you guys, I guess, two weeks from now. <laughs> so uh, anything that you have to say, Slate? Don't go. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Uh, while he's gone, come look at my channel. <laughs> oh yeah, he'll be putting content up. So you're just gonna put a, you gonna take my, yeah, take my, do my job for me. Totally, I'll do daily rules. I'll start playing you, Bell. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. See you guys about two weeks from now. Thanks for watching.